I'm not feeling well, which is why I look the way I look. I have been down all day with a stress migraine and a sinus migraine. But we're doing this. We're doing this, okay? For those of you that see me, you know, obviously dipping on that grizzly one green wide cut. Um, but we're we're gonna take a delve into very new territory, something that I never thought was appropriate to upload to YouTube. Um, but Gang Grumps means the world to me. I mean, means absolutely everything to me. I mean, they brought me out of the depression uh, multiple times, and I feel at home and I feel like I can just be myself after watching one of their videos. They're entertaining, fun videos. So uh, go and uh, check out the Game Grumps if you haven't already. Uh, you'll love them. I've been watching the Game Grumps since um, I've actually watched the Game Grumps since the first day of the John Tron era. They played Kirby. Uh, for the NES, I believe. I don't remember which could be exactly, but I know, I, like, the video is playing through my mind as I'm talking about it. So, um, I, I just wanted to address what is in the title because, you know, like I said, um, the Game Grumps, the content that they produced has helped me get through a lot of hard times. And I feel that I owe it to them because they don't know who I am. They n probably never will know who I am, and I'm fine knowing that, but they helped me, uh, to be completely honest from, with you, uh, they saved me from suicide, depression, anxiety. I always had, I could always rely on those videos to make me smile. So, like, because I, f I feel like I owe it to them to say something about this, really, truthfully, 110%. And, uh, let's get into it. So, Dan, uh, Aaron uploaded a, uh, video apologizing for Ghoul Grumps yesterday, uh, the 6th of November, 2018. I'm recording this video on the 7th because I had just seen it. I'd seen it today. I saw it earlier today. I had just been thinking about it, okay? Aaron is apologizing for basically not giving the fans what they want. Okay, and from a creator standpoint, because I I haven't found that yet, I haven't found what people want to see, because I I can't I don't have the money to put into YouTube, so I do the best with what I've got. You know, and he said Google Grumps has become a tradition, and you know, Google Grumps has become a part of people's lives, and that's okay, you know. Uh, props to him for making a series that everybody loves like this. And uh, I wanted to make this video because you got to think. Now, this is, a, I, I, this is a message. Right now, I'm going to be talking to the people that got upset, okay, over the fact that Ghoul Grunts was the way it was. Let's put it into perspective for a second here. Danny is a full-time musician, a full-time content creator, and he does side projects all the time. He's always collaborating with people from what I've seen. He's always out there. He's always pushing the boundaries. Okay. He's always involved with something. And Aaron, he's a husband. He's a content creator. He's also a musician. And this stuff doesn't, this stuff doesn't take 10 minutes. This, took, this stuff takes months, days, hours, minutes. It takes a long time to, to produce content to their standard. It doesn't just take 50 seconds. It doesn't, it's not like this video that's going to be, I'm sitting here, it's going to take me 10 minutes to record, I upload it, I don't edit my videos. Okay? You've got to think. And you've got to think about the channel too. Aaron has introduced more stuff, more stuff to try to help the channel be diversified from what it was. He's trying to improve the channel. That shit doesn't, that shit doesn't come in minutes. 
he's live streaming. He's, you know, I say him, but Game Grumps is live streaming. I mean, more frequently now than they had in the past. They're doing charity, going on tour. That stuff takes time. And like I said, there's, there's stuff that they do that I don't understand how long it takes, but it still takes time. And it's not all about you. You specifically that got onto Aaron and went onto Danny's music video for Africa, which I absolutely loved. I absolutely loved it. And you got to think about it. You may have no ill intentions by what you're doing, but I mean, if you watched this video, I mean, Aaron looked like he was about to cry the whole time. He fails and he lets people down. When in reality, he did nothing wrong. He's trying to improve the channel. He's putting more time into, they're putting more time into an effort into stuff now than they ever have. I don't, I, I can't, I can't explain it enough. I can't get the, I can't get it across enough. That this shit takes a lot more time than just the length of the video. I was a video editor three years ago. Three years ago. I had a good laptop. I was, it took me a week one week to edit a copy, to edit a video, all right? And it was 10 minutes. It took me one, it took me seven days from Sunday to Sunday. And I worked on that video so hard. People don't take the time to realize how much time and effort is put into something. They only see it if they enjoy it. Which people who don't make YouTube videos are kind of oblivious to. And that is why I'm making this video. To hopefully get across to those people that don't understand. There's a lot more time and effort that goes into things. I mean, and they're human too. They're doing the best that they can to please everybody. And sometimes, you're not going to get what you want. So my advice to you is if you don't see a video that you like or from a series that you like, go and rewatch it. Go and rewatch a series that you like. So if you like, you were disappointed with Google Grumps this year, why not go back last year or 2016 or 2015 and find stuff you enjoy instead of harping to them about it because they put... They're everything. They're all. I can see it. I feel it. I feel the energy that they put into these videos every time I click on one. And to them, I'm not gonna. I'm not trying to speak on their behalf, but to them, that's a slap in the face. You give us what we want, or we're gonna complain about it and make you feel like shit. Instead of taking time to really appreciate what they put out, that's a problem. That's the biggest problem with YouTubers, with big YouTubers. People, I, I see it all the time, everywhere I go. I've had many, many a conversation with people about it. Yeah, uh, let's just say Jimmy, for example. Okay, I will give you guys an example of this. Jimmy texted me uh, 3 o'clock this morning. He said, man, I'm really pissed off. I'm like, and I'm sitting there getting ready to go to bed, and I text him back, why? Because, uh, let's just say Markiplier. Shout out to Markiplier. Love him too, but uh, a shout out. Uh, Markiplier didn't upload uh, a video that I wanted to watch, and I'm super upset about it. Of course, it goes into most detail, but that's all I took it for. And I tell him, rewatch those series. And then I explained to him everything. Because being a content creator, it's not easy. It takes a lot of time. Very, I go back to the time thing, but that's the best way I know how to explain it. It takes a lot of time. 
Like, for example, the Republic attack thing took me... I, I, I was actually... I actually watched that video in the morning of the data that I recorded it. But I was doing more... I was scripting. I was uh, doing my research. I, I, I watched many other people's opinion videos to... Um, to get their opinion and to formulate my own. That took all day. Being a YouTuber isn't easy. But on the flip side, I can understand why Aaron felt so bad. Because, you know, having almost a five, pretty damn close to a five million subscriber fan base or just having a fan base in general, you feel like you gotta please them and you gotta appease them and you gotta give them what they want. Which is true to a point. But if you sit here and get angry and be mean and rude, you're not a true fan. Because a true fan can take any video that they upload and they can take it for, and they can appreciate it, you know, it, because the way I think about it is, and Aaron brought this up in his video, you know, uh, he talked about, he wanted to make that play, he, Game Grounds was made to give people an escape, to give people happiness, and if they were true supporters, it wouldn't matter what they upload, because I can tell you right now, the content that is uploaded is minuscule to the personality of the people uploading the video. And what that means is, is that yes, tr you know, making a video and having something to watch. Having something to watch is, is, is the main point of the video. But the personality behind the video, the personality behind the video is just as important as the video but nobody takes that into account nobody looks at the, nobody looks past the video they don't take it into account uh the people behind it you know and when you have a fan base a lot of people forget that you're a human too you have your own limits there are limits that everybody meets and i can almost guarantee the reason why Aaron wasn't focused on Dual Grumps this year is because he started live streaming. They started live streaming. They've been live streaming Detroit second or the new Detroit game. I, I believe it's called Detroit Become Human. I, I was never interested in it. I was never interested in the game, so I don't know. But he did mention Detroit, so I was like, maybe Detroit Become Human. There's something for everybody there on that channel. There's something for everyone. You just got to take time to look for it. And that's the problem. People don't want to take the time to look for it. People just want to whine and complain. And I'm not okay with that. Um, I'm 22 years old, okay? I'm not perfect. I was the whiny kid too. When Super Mario Sunshine came out. Because I loved it so much. And I understand that um, Danny and Aaron, I mean, they're busy. They're busy people. They're doing what they can. You know, they didn't respond to me. So I'm not saying that I'm innocent either. But knowing what I know now, be, being a YouTuber and dealing with my own medical stuff and dealing with, you know, depression, anxiety, and PTSD, I can tell you, I've taken time and I've thought about it. Like, you know, I, I, I can... I analyze it, but I also care. I don't care about what Game Grumps uploads. I care about the people behind it. Everyone. Ross, Barry, Susie, Commander Holly, uh, Aaron, Danny, Brian. How many people can you name at Game Grumps? I care about every single one of them. And to see Aaron apologize for doing his best because he feels that he let people down. It's not true. It's not true at all. People can't find the face value and people can't appreciate the hard work that goes behind it. Nobody, 
the world works, it's like the way the world works to me and my analysis of how the world works is if you find something that you love, you want more of what you love, and when you don't get it, angry, sad, upset, you don't need that because there's so much. You need to broaden your horizons. You need to broaden your horizons. Because let me tell you something. And let me tell you something that is real. I have felt this. I've been around people that have quit YouTube because of this. Assholes hurt. The mean... Rude comments that you leave asking, where's Game Grumps, where's this? It takes a toll on your mental, on your mental thing about YouTube. Your thoughts. Because I know when I got my first hate comment, I stopped uploading for a good four or five months. Because I didn't know how to handle it. I'm not saying that Danny and Aaron don't know how to handle it. But I'm saying that what you say to these YouTubers... Whether you mean it the way you say it or not, it has, people take it seriously. And I'm sorry that that happened. I'm sorry that people had to hate. Guys, the, the world needs love. Not hate. So why are you being the ones to hate? It may not be your intentions, but that is the outcome of every single negative comment situation on YouTube. Hate. 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 And more hate. Put yourself in their shoes. Almost 5 million subscribers. I couldn't even fathom a thousand. But I could tell you, I could tell you this, and I'm going to tell you this. I'm a human. I will do the best I can to make content when I can. But I got my own shit going on too. And they got their own shit going on too. Whatever that may be. And to see and to hear about and to watch a video of somebody that I look up to really be negatively affected with to the point where he has to make an almost a 12 minute video while apologizing. Not cool. I don't find that cool at all. So the moral is. The moral and the advice. Don't leave negative comments if you can help it. Just be like, you know, you can leave a comment asking be like, hey man. You know, there's so many ways you could go around, but the negativity, I just can't stand it. I just can't, I can't stand it, truthfully. I truthfully cannot stand it. So, uh, that's why I'm speaking out about it. Because I look up to Danny and Aaron. I got a lot of respect and love for them, and if they never know my name, cool. I'm okay with that. If they never see this video, which I really want them to, but I, I, I don't want... I want them to see this video. I want them to hear what I have to say. I want them to acknowledge this video just because I want about what I'm about to say. Aaron and Danny and members of the Game Grumps, thank you for working your ass off to provide entertainment for us to provide us with an escape where we can go and we can smile and we can forget our troubles. I truly, 100% from the bottom of my heart, thank you because it saved my life. And you've helped millions of people. And I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you feel the way that you felt in the video. 
I'm sorry for the way that it affected everybody. Aaron, you did nothing wrong. The people that commented on the Africa music video that Darren made were just trying to get to them, to him, to message him directly. You did nothing wrong. There's nothing wrong about what you have been doing. I admire everything. I respect everything that you guys do. And I appreciate it. So ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave the video at that. If you can, share it to the Game Grumps. Put it under every social media they have. Because this is important. This is very important. It's important to me. And uh, whatever happens, happens. But thank you guys for watching the video. Um, I'm going to go lay down. <laughs> I'm sick as fuck. But I uh, wanted to make this video. I truly did. Because I got a lot of respect for these guys. And just know, I'm not doing this shit for the views. I could care less about the fucking views. I'm just trying to stick up for the people I care about. Even they, oh, they don't know me. Thank you guys for watching. Share the video everywhere you can. And I hope to God they see this video. Peace.